Why not? <laughs> so let's move on, please. <laughs> okay, recent action by some officers of the Sokoto Zamfara Command of the Nigeria Customs Service reaffirms the belief that not all public officers can be swayed by illicit gains. The officers rejected 1.5 million naira bribes from a notorious cartel that specializes in vandalizing railway tracks. The three suspects were intercepted by the monitoring team of the command. Let's share the story with you. Operatives of the command clamp down on a notorious cartel that specializes in vandalization of railway tracks. A truck conveying a 20-foot container laden with vandalized railway tracks, along with three suspects, were intercepted by the command monitoring team at Kajiji along Kebi Road. The suspects could not tender evidence of allocation from the Federal Ministry of Transport, instead made an overture to bribe the officers with 1.5 million naira and even making an advanced cash offer of 300,000 naira. Out of patriotism and integrity, the officers chose the path of honor by detaining them at the command headquarters. Gentlemen, integrity on the part of these officers rejecting this bribe, you know, which is actually a sabotage on the system. As a matter of fact, I think they were presented a 300,000 hour cash on the spot. Yeah. Like, let's kill let's, this. Let's, let's, let's keep this. Yes. It's a fact. Um, and um, I really appreciate what they are doing. It has been on forever and ever. Come to look at the report that came out from um, FCT. Why this, some of the investigations that have been conducted, why the train has been consistently derailed in the past few weeks? It's because they are cutting off this rate track. A few days ago, the um, Todd Melan Bridge that was just uh, reconstructed and the rest of them. Somebody went there and was taking the light, was stealing the light until um, 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 RRS um, 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 policemen came and apprehended them. That is the kind of, every time we say, oh, government is not doing this, government is not doing this. But the one that we, they have done, are we securing them? If a situation like this, that somebody will just go and be removed, do you know, I don't know the kind of people, in fact, I don't understand. This is not poverty, because if you say it's poverty, why are they offering 1.5 million to the custom this is absolute economic sabotage, and they should be dealt with. But the fundamental problem for me now is, if you look at that story, if you read deeper, the, what they call it, that command, the Zafara Sokoto command, was also able to auction in the last few days, have been able to auction 11,270 11, liters of petroleum that were seized from people that were trying to export, export it outside the country. They sold it at 180 naira um, per, liter. per liter to the general public. In the neighboring state of uh, Kebi, the Zombie Tactical Command also auctioned 20,142 liters of petroleum that was seized. So, so this so economic sabotage so is endemic. It's endemic in the system. So it's not just so we, you, you can see that we're having serious problems. We are starting to, why we are still patching here and there? Some people are still so bent at this. Thing. This is just one of the ones that, uh, if you if you go to and see what is happening between the segment border and even the one around us here, and you'll be shocked by what is uh, what is. So I commend the the, the custom authorities. There have also been instances where the police also have been able to. But the highest of the uh, of the yeah. sabotage is happening in the Niger Delta. Mm. Our oil. Our crude that is still being stolen on a daily basis by vandals. Despite the fact that we'll be able to contract certain individuals to be able to police this thing and we pay billions and millions. And if you see how much we are losing on a daily basis to these vandals and some of these economic saboteurs, you will weep. So earlier you spoke about securing these infrastructure. Whose duty is it? I ask that because when you talk about who should secure, oh, yeah, talk about security operators. But can they be everywhere at every time? Yeah. What happens to the conscience of the average citizen? Who should himself be morally upright and just seek the good of the land? Toto. I'm happy this has come up. Yeah. You see why followership is also a problem. This is it. We are complaining that we don't have enough. The little that we have, some people are out to destroy it 
and then make things happen. Is it the lawmakers? Is it the president? Is it the governors doing this? So we as citizens, like you said, we also owe it, owe it a duty to this country to ensure that we are good citizens. It's just pure um, madness when you see people doing things like that. Like you said, Todd Milan Bridge, Second Ninder Bridge, under how many months? Yeah, second Ninder Bridge as well. If you go to beggar here, that we were all commending mm. after the state government finished the work, yeah. go and check. All the wires demarcating the two sides of the two layers, yeah. they've yeah. almost been cut yeah. off. Even the street lights. The the street, light. Everything the is gone. Light. So it's, it's up to us as citizens. Because some don't realize that when you vandalize, it is still the money that we, we should, should go to workers, should go to citizens, that we use in fixing it. Same money should go to, the, to, 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 to modern it. Fine. We have people who are designated as security agents to police this, especially the um, NSCDC, Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps. They are supposed to do it, but how many of them do we have? So that is why it is important as citizens to know that one of our obligations to this country is not to destroy infrastructures that belong to all of us. Even to, own the, to own the We should own it. own it. We should believe in it. Own it. We still spoke about this in my office before I left now. On this derailing, if those coaches should have a problem by completely derailing, they, they need to, they have to use the money from what we don't have to buy again. A lot of people can't think beyond, and you know what is quite strange to me? It's just like people who steal phones. When they steal it, a phone that is worth 1.5 million, when they take it to the, to the buyer, those buyers will offer them 10 or 20,000, and then they will go and sell it for a million or, or more, because they know that it is stolen. These things that are being stolen by these people, they are only taking a risk. Yeah, because, Big there's market, there's, there's, because there's a market because for it. The, the person who are even going to buy it from them, the person, the person who will buy it from them will make much money than them. They won't leave their own office. But people don't think. They don't even see beyond, let me get this and go and get a 5,000 naira. So it seems that there's a lot that needs to be done, you know, fundamentally. We need reorientation. Reorientation. And yeah. perhaps the national orientation agency. That's why I'm, even, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. quite yeah. happy so with... So pass that message of patriotism. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I'm happy with you, the you know, current leadership you know, of the NOA. You know, Seriously. You know, um, when we continue to condemn the military, military, there's also some part of the military that you come to realize that also work. Some of the things they do. Because if you look at in terms of infrastructure, give it or take it. Most of the basic infrastructure we have in Nigeria, they are done under the military. Most, I say most, and that's the fact. I also give another example. No civilian government since 1960 has been able to create a single state in Nigeria. Are you aware? No single. Are you championing? No, 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 no. I'm okay. just giving you. I'm just giving. We are, we are students of. Okay, history. we know there are some people that you take. Yeah, yeah, you, you know, that's what I'm saying. You know, so those are some of the. But the fact remains that. We have to be able to make that uh, where we're going to was why? Okay. The war against indiscipline. We saw what was achieved during that period. Um, under Mamsa, under Jerry Ghana, you remember the time when you are if you are student, student well, if you are this, mm -hmm. I believe that this current government should pump a lot of money into anyway. We need a total reorientation of it. It's good enough that anyway, I think it's still under the Ministry of Information. I don't know. As a parastatal on that military, military of information. Yes, it is. But if we can be able to make sure that we're able to put, put so much money so that Nigerians, the psyche, for goodness sake, why do you think an average American, you All say, right. I'm proud to be an American? Do you know what that proud means? To be, I'm proud to be a Nigerian. So you're a Nigerian yes. before. If, let me tell you, if an American. I do know the, 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 the worst part of it. Some people will see when these people are analyzing this thing, they will not talk. Not. They will not report to the police. But you cannot do it in some certain Some of them also, they are scared. They are afraid for their lives. Yes, yes, I agree with you. Because, because you, they never can can pass tell. The, you can pass on the information to security agencies, and at the, at the end of they trace it back to you, it becomes a problem. Uh, that's <laughs> even if those people are reporting to are not part of the, of the scheme. All right, that's gentlemen. That's why people are a bit unfortunate. Okay, let's look at another matter now.